Selena Jacket, who do you like TV? Who do you like TV? Who do you like TV? Hi, my name is Iris Zabi. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and who do you like, Jamie? Even when the times are rough, you gotta keep on going. I know sometimes it gets hard, and you wanna back out. I know sometimes it gets hard, and you get burned Watching, who do you like TV? Show, event producer, event show. Oh, yeah. Right from our show, Kevin. Should be like an intriguing one. Mm. That's cool. So, so, it's another um, episode of Who Do You Like TV. This is, um, you know, for summer of 2018. And um, should be a really um, great show. We have uh, great guests. I'll be behind the controls. We have a couple of uh, rolling clips. And uh, we hope everything goes well, well about Hitch. I'm doing good. Can't wait for the show. All Sounds right. like fun. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Joe Corbelis. I'm here from Yonkers. I'm from Westchester Fashion Week. I'm the CEO and founder and have some of the models here tonight and lovely artists with me tonight. And Looking forward to a good time. And my friend Brian here is helping engineer here, so it's all good. All right. So getting, now... Get, getting ready for the show tonight. This is uh, Freddie... Uh, Freddie's uh, Who Do You Like TV. I guess he's uh, trying to bottom feed tonight. 
we had the two bottom feeder shows, but uh, this is going to be a big show. Hopefully, everybody shows up and we uh, get the music going and uh, see what happens. The bottom feeders will come up to the top. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into the. Let me see. I got to get my jacket. I don't know where my jacket. All right, we're here with Who Do You Like TV behind the scenes, and we're here with uh, Sham's son. Lisa. 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 Lisa Melodic. Wait a minute, I got the wrong one. Let's start Cut. from the beginning. Cut. 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 I'm rolling. All right, we're here with Who Do You Like TV. We're here with Lisa, and she's a great artist that's coming on the show today. And Lisa, wow, you got some nice work. work. Thank you so much. So how did you get uh, going with art? Like, what, what made you get into Well, I love art artist. because I grew up around, you know around art. With, uh, my mom is an artist, so I was always around art. It's always a big inspiration. There's always paint in my house, and so I've been painting since I was a little girl. And I went to school, and I studied art history and business management and finance, and I always took art classes on the side. So I do painting, sculpture, drawing, mosaics. I see you were in love with this picture. Yes, I was. <laughs> Lisa was in when? love. Yeah, yes. so that's cool. Yeah. And you and you like you like colors. Obviously. I love colors. I love bright colors. I have. I also do digital art, and I do a lot of like spiritual kind of art, mandalas and sacred geometry. I like fractals. 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 What's that? Um, fractals is is um it's part of sacred geometry where one piece looks like exactly the bigger it gets, the more it's a continuation of the same piece. So it gets bigger and bigger, but it's all one. From a side, as you look at a small piece, it's the same right. as a large piece, and all together, it's infinity. Wow! Yeah. Infinity. And uh, wow, that's something. So, did you learn art from anybody in particular? Or? I've always been around art because of my mom, and yeah. I studied. I took some art classes in college. That's it. Yeah. And in school, I went to art school in Ukraine. And you know, I just love art. Also, one of my degrees is art history, so I always wrote about art and went to a lot of museums. And yeah. I worked at Sotheby's, and I work, I ran an art gallery in the city. So, who's your, who's your favorite artist? I mean, I have a long list. It's like, who's your, what's your favorite movie? But I do yeah. love Picasso, of course. Picasso, yeah. Picasso, yeah. Yeah, I love the Impressionists, Monet. Um, I just my favorite time in art history is modern art modern. because it was really an explosion of different styles and themes and it was just like amazing time that and the art reflected what was going on politically. Wow, that's great! Wow, we're here with Lisa. She's going to be on the show tonight. Who do you like TV? We're going to get a uh, Who do you like TV shirt and. Um, we're going to see you live on Staten Island, everybody. Yay! All right. And, and the, you say your last name, Mele Melizek. Melizek. Yes. Lisa Melizek, everybody. All right. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. And we're ready to go. Thank you. All right. That was cool with the music in the background. That was good. Yeah. 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 That was good, right? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So we're taking these out. Hey, we're here at CTV. I'm here with Lisa, and uh, Lisa's here for uh, Freddie's show tonight. But uh, she's going to come on the Staten Island Comedy Show, which we just did a, a great show. And uh, I hear that you uh, you're very open to uh, co-hosting the show. Yes, absolutely. I would love to co-host the show with you. It sounds very exciting. Okay, and uh, you, are you uh, familiar with uh, stand-up comedians and comedy and everything? Yeah, I love stand-up comedy. Actually, I go to a lot of shows. And in fact, what's interesting, I watch stand-up comedy on Russian TV as well. And Russians, we've never had the genre of stand-up comedy, but now they've copied it from America, and they have a show where lots of amateur stand-up comedians come. It's called Open Mind and then they choose the best one over the course of the season and it's really fun so like I watch a lot of stand-up okay. it's very interesting yeah. now, now is this in Russia this uh -huh. is in Russia yeah oh okay and uh, so so how are their jokes do they make fun of people I know here in the uh, United States they, they make fun of uh, Polish jo uh, people uh, how do they do in Russia Russia I mean they make fun of people from all over the place and there's a lot of they like literally copying a lot from the American TV so there's a lot of crude jokes a lot of all kinds of humor, dirty humor, and there's also sophisticated, but it's really good. They, they don't they don't make fun of the Polish, they make fun of the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that figures. <laughs> okay, now um, 
Are, are you from the Ukraine? I was born in Ukraine, yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, so in, in, in Russia, they, they, is it mainly clean comedy or do they uh, spice it up with dirty words? I know here they, they give the F-bombs if everybody's out there. You know. Yeah, they definitely spice it up with a lot of dirty words. There's all kinds of humor, including crude humor. And yeah, they, they're just copying, they're learning from the American comedians. And there was a couple of instances when the amateur stand-up comedians came up and the judges who are like the big stand-up comedians said, this is literally you're copying Louis C.K. or you're copying this comic, where they oh, copied okay. the whole plagiarized the whole material. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. So they wouldn't win that. Uh, no, the they, they would throw them out right away. Right, because it's you, not original. It's not original. So you're it's, supposed so, to come yeah. up with the original. And actually, like it was very interesting to watch their commentary about the stand-up comedians because they were saying that. The best stand up comedy is not just when you do one liners, but when you tell a story and relate it to yourself. And that it's more relatable to the people. Like it's a whole story and it's all cohesive and connected. It's very interesting. Okay, so it's like a persona. You'd have to have your own persona. Yes. And yes. you would follow a story instead of copying from, right. from somebody else. Copying from somebody else, or just doing a bunch of one-liners, like you have to have a cohesive story, oh, this happened to me, and then go into another story from that, and tie it all, in, all together in the end. It was very interesting, I really enjoyed it. Well, now, the, is there any uh, foreigners that you know, can come on, like Germans, or uh, uh, I don't know, from people in yes, Switzerland? Yes. So. Yeah, in fact, there was a bunch of, uh, there was a couple of African comedians that came to Russia, that were, there were speaking Russian, they came on, there was an English comedian, so actually it was a pretty international show, but you had to speak Russian to be on the show. Oh, okay, so, yeah. so, so you couldn't come in and uh, do the stand-up in a different language and get a translator, you know, it was like mostly people that speak Russian, and I love those comedians a lot because they have a very fresh perspective as somebody who is from Africa or somebody from England living in Russia, it's hard to understand, it's like a big, a lot of cultural differences, so they made fun of the Russians and the way that they live because <laughs> okay. it didn't make sense to them. Them, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Now, now uh, you're, you're from Ukraine. Now, does Ukraine have any uh, type of uh, uh, stand-up or comedic uh, uh, TV, yeah. or do they do it in the nightclubs or stuff like that? I'm sure that they do, but I haven't seen any Ukrainian show like that. The show that I saw, uh, the open mic show, was from Russia, but I'm sure that they do because a lot of the stuff that's from here, they copy in Russia. A lot of shows, a lot of like, you know. A lot of different cultural things are definitely copied, and, but yeah, but they do have a lot of other comedy shows. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so now, the, 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 can you uh, name one of the jokes they uh, goof around to the Americans with? I don't know, I don't know if you can say this on television. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody like uh, attacking us. Ah! <laughs> Uh, like, uh, like, a, like, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, 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 like a Polish show would be a, how do you get a one-armed Polak out of a tree? You wave at him. And then he falls out of a tree. I don't know about the, the U.S. Yeah, I have to, I have to think about it. Uh, there was, there was a couple of really funny jokes from one comedian. She's a, she's a woman, and she's really funny. Um, I love her actually. So her joke was about how when she came to America and the differences between America and Russia. So yeah, so that was yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, so she had a lot of really good jokes. So next time when I'm co-hosting, I will come with my homework done and I'll bring in some jokes. Oh okay. I, they, they, I used I had a Russian uh, uh, girl on my show about ten years ago and uh, yeah, ten years ago, and she uh, said, oh you know, uh, they told. Us, uh, the Amer Americans are bad, you know, and they're gonna they're coming to, to take over. And then she stopped and said, Yeah, but where are they? You know, where are they? We want them, we want them to come over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so. That's fine. <laughs> so, that, you know, that was just a, a Russian girl. Right? Her name was Upa. 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 Yeah, that is a, not a typical Russian name. No, no, no. but that's, uh, she was a, a stand-up comic here oh, in the really? States. Oh, really? Oh, nice, nice. But she was from Russia, you know, so mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, I had to have her on my show. So, uh, okay, I, I see the, the music is blasting now. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, so look for Lisa. She, we're going to be on uh, the Staten Island Comedy Show uh, probably next show. And uh, tune in for us. Uh, and uh, goodbye from Staten Island. Goodbye from Staten Island. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Do you like TV? We're here with Jasmine. She finally came here with her um, her outfit, a pageant outfit.
She's going to change in a minute, though, because she's going to do a, uh, a dance routine. And so, how are you doing, Jessica? So, yeah, good, good, good. So, um, so you said you, how many pageants did you win? So overall, I have over five titles. Five? Okay. Wow. And what, what, in different boroughs? So I have different state titles and national titles. So the ones I'm wearing right now is one of my state titles, which is Miss Teen New York International, as well as Miss Teen Bollywood USA. So that's a national Indian title. Oh, wow, that's great. And what about here in America? Uh, do you have any titles? Here? The American pageant winner is Miss Teen New York International, which is my title. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. All right, here. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. got you now, I got you now. And you, and you won for, uh, you had to do talent. You had to sing, right? Yes, I sang and I danced. And the talent was important, like the singing part? Yeah, it yeah. counted towards our overall grades, and that's how I made it to top five, and I won best overall talent. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, yeah, so you're going to be here on Who Do You Like TV? You're going to mm -hmm. see it. We're going to see you uh, dance mm -hmm. in your uh, your outfit. I don't think, oh, well, yeah, you could come back and you want to change back, you can, whatever. If not, then we could just go, you know, whatever, your outfit. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it, right? It's such a pleasure to be here, and thank yeah. you so much for having me. And yeah. thanks to all the viewers of Who Do You Like TV. Yeah, and Stan, I can't wait to hear you sing and dance and all your talents. I can't about. wait to perform for Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, Staten Island. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, believe it or not, there's a lot of Indian people on Staten Island, you know, and yeah. stuff like that, you know. But everybody will love you. I know that. Thank you. Got you got a beautiful face. And, uh, yeah, all right, so, all right, Who Do You Like TV, everybody? And we're here with Jasmine. She's a uh, great talent, and she, we're bringing here to Staten Island. I wanted to go to. I, I, I was home. I was loving you guys. I, I, was, I was away. I was down south, but I'm gonna go next time. Hold up the trophy, yeah. man. The only thing, the only thing I got left. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to do my outfit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. I had two eggs in my mind. Yeah. 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 I'm ready. All right. We're here with another um, pageant winner. And who do you like TV? Her name is Sham Sun, everybody. And Sham Sun, you're a singer too. You're gonna sing you're gonna sing that's a song right. tonight. Yeah. What, what's the name of the song that you're gonna sing tonight? Yeah, Ishka Hai. Ishka Hai? Yeah, Ishka. The love is like that. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes. Love is like that? Yes. And that's the name of it? Yes. Oh wow. And the words uh, is there a lot of words in the song? I mean uh, yes. Yeah, wow. It's Cool, you're romantic, yes. huh? Love music. Yeah, you're you're into music. Yeah, so am I. Uh, I I worked with a lot of um, famous bands in my life. But anyway, yeah. So Shams, uh, uh, oh, so do you dance too, or uh, dance? I do. You do the dances and everything. And so, where did you win your pageant? Um, this one, this year. Oh, in in New York. Um, the pageant is actually in California. Oh, California. Yes. Okay. Wow, that's cool. It's a Miss Asia USA. Asia. So what do you like better? You like California or New York better? New York. Yeah, New York. So that's why you're here, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you're going to be here tonight on um, What Do You Like TV? And uh, you're going to come up in probably about 15, 20 minutes sure. to the show. And it's going to be great. Happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you. I'm glad. Yeah, Who Do You Like TV? All right. Sham, uh, Sham Sun. Sham Sun Elite. Elite, everybody. Sham Sun Nahar. That's my... Um, Shamsun Nahar, Nahar is my middle name. Shamsun Nahar is an Arabic. Okay, Arabic. Oh, yes. Arabic too. Uh, so that means the sunshine. Okay. <laughs> sunshine, wow. She's got everything. Sunshine, happiness. All right. So, anyway, yeah. All right, Sam. Get ready to yeah, sure. do your singing right. and everything. All right. All right. Who do you like, TV? Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, no, you're going to sing here. Where would everybody go? Well, let me see. Just sit down for now. You sit there. Sit there. You sit there. I like it. I moved in. Set down roots. Sounds good. Summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. You linger there to touch your hair and walk with me. Oh, 
some along We sang a song And then we strolled That golden sand Two sweethearts In the summer wind How's that sound, right? Like painting kites Those days and nights They went flying by The world was new Underneath the blue Umbrella sky Softer than A piper man It came and Called to you Frank Sinatra, can I have your autograph, baby? Put it between us. Yeah, like that. Level. Listen, what happened to the man? Two. Like the opener, that was from the Bronx Zoo. And we have uh, a great guest tonight. We have um, pageant winners, we have singers, we have comedians, we got um, special guests. And uh, we got uh, Joe Cabalas to the right of me. He's, um, he's a uh, legendary uh, guy that hosts a lot of shows in New York City and all over the place. We got Sham Sun, she's a pageant winner. And we got a great artist. Her name is Lisa Maleshik. Maleshik, right? Maleshik. 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 Gotta say that. And Frank James is back. All right, Frank James, everybody. Then we got um, another great pageant winner. She won like four pageants all over the all over the world. Uh, her name is Jasmine Manjari Pari, right? Yes. I said it right. Thank you. All right, I said it right. And we got uh, Nevin Cummings from Staten Island Comedy Show. <laughs> and we got no other than Joe. Joe. The comedian Joe. And we got Sal, who's a paddleball oh. legend, everybody. Paddleball legend. Sal Corticelli, right? Right. And Joe, oh Joe Long, I, I caught. You I, forgot? I no, no, I, no, I, 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 I no, because we always call him Joe Go Long. I was thinking it was, uh, you know, whatever. But anyway, we have. We just uh, before we get into uh, right now, we got a uh, a model. Uh, she uh, a pageant winner. She's gonna do it. What are you gonna do? I'm doing a Bollywood medley dance. Bollywood medley dance. All right. Do you need more space than this? You are move just move it back. I would love it if you can move it. All right, I will. All right. All right, Jasmine Manjari Pari. Let's hear it for everybody. Come on. Hey, all Oh, 
by Jimmy Jimbug from uh, North Carolina, and we're going to show this uh, uh, right now because I want everybody in Staten Island to uh, listen to this song. It's a great song. It's called... Please Don't Let Me Down. Please Don't Let Me Down. Do we got the rolling of that? I love doing it. It yeah. was um, really an excellent experience. Yeah. Uh, Fred, you did a great job on that. And, uh, Thank you for having me and yeah. thinking about me and uh, including. Well, no, you, well, you have the you have the voice and the uh, and uh, well, you could sing any. You could sing Tom Jones. You could sing um, Roy Orbison. You could sing what, what else? All, all the Elvis covers. Presley, El Elvis, Led yeah. Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah, but now you got your own style. Yeah, you know? and and it's true. And I laugh because my little one, seven year old, she said, "That's not you." She she did not believe it was me. She didn't believe. It. She didn't. Whose phone is that? Yeah, AJC advises. Oh, Diddly D, Bagel and Deli, Oriental Plaza, and Oriental Plaza. Yes, provided the Chinese provided. It. And if it wasn't for them, we'd stop to death. I know. <laughs> so okay, we got Sal Cutticelli, Joe Long, Nevin Cummings. Um, we got uh, how do you say your full name? Jasmine. 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 Say. Jasmine. 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 We got Frank James. He's a lot of shows. He's a show for them. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bollywood USA 2017, Miss Teen New York International 2017, and your very new Miss Bollywood New York 2018. And you're watching Who Do You Like TV?